Welcome everyone to my new presentation on Cardano's topic for the day. How are you today? How do you feel about the current market situation, which is unfortunately another bearish momentum? It is 2.18% overall downwards. This is going to be a price prediction for January 2024. Scramble right here trying to speak about the markets in the most rational way possible. Let's discover what's happening on the hidden side. Well, first of all, we speak about a Cardano, which is down by 15% in the past seven days. It's still down on the last 24 hours. It's also suffering on the hourly side. Meanwhile, we have some of the cryptos and alts that are performing well in the last hour candlestick. It's still basically a cryptocurrency that needs a bit of a uh, a bit of a market momentum in order to have it on the green side. I mean, it's not used to be the first one that changes the energy and dominates the space. It used to be the one that follows the others and adjusts the movement like that. Now we're going to discover. Meanwhile, we'd like to see that there's many other videos on my channel for those of you that are interested. Make sure to check them out. We have all sorts of price predictions, including YouTube shorts with uh my trades by the way you can join my trades this is my trading journal where you can participate option number one is no prior fee only commission from the pure profits achieved where we are trading and you pay the commission every seven days quite simple and straightforward we have our api trading with chat gpt ai that is performing and then the one-on-one -on -one coaching program i'm going to talk about at the end of the call now what's happening basically in the cardano the Cardano is dealing right now with a great level of reaction, guys. This is a place where it must react. This is a place where we have a four hour candlesticks finding rejection, which isn't major, of course. But as for the weekend, we are actually in a sufficient phase right now to continuously push and attack basically that mixture between the golden pocket and the resistance trending line from the top. This is a resistance trending line of a channel. It is not powerful at the moment but it can become powerful with another confirmation of rejection so on a triple point which means that it has two confirmations on top of the creation point it could become very powerful and the markets could tank basically if they are finding resistance once again at that level i wouldn't be surprised basically to get there and at the same time i would actually be surprised to see the markets uh, not breaking out at that level by having bullish momentum. So we're speaking about a 56, 57 mark right there. It's filled up with resistance, that's right. But the conditions of the market after taking the volume and liquidity below this candlestick, below this candlestick wicks, so both lows have a massive amount of liquidity. It has been taken out by the way the markets have dumped right there. And then you take the markets once again to the same level to take it out for another time. You're actually constructing a perfect liquidity structure right there for the markets to start pumping. And we're expecting basically another reaction towards bullishness, which of course has a limited time until the bears are going to step into, which is at 57 cents. That's right. But at the same time, we should not underestimate the ability for us to get closer to the 20 days moving average, move above it. And we still have a chance, basically, if the market is retracing when you are going to drill in a very, very squeezed area right there where the markets are going to be in a triangle form created by the resistance trend line plus the major golden pocket that you have holding you right below. That's a golden pocket created basically by the major structure of the range back in the day 2023 with the tops out there formed. So definitely something that I would not underestimate as a strong demand level. And considering we are just taking out the liquidity from the major dump created on the third, this could be a great movement for us to get back into the 57 area. What does it mean percentage wise? It's 9% something that i wouldn't give away especially if you put it out on a 5x leverage that's 45 percent on the margin i mean more than acceptable guys uh during the market conditions of uncertainty that we're dealing with right now uh at the same time we have the ability to break out from here and continue basically properly uh if, if you do so then you're going basically to the key level of the fixed range volume profile the key level is marked with the red line right there. The fixed range profile is right now the place that is indicating 
whether you are under heavy domination as soon as you are trading below this by the bears or by the bulls it's most likely indicating you where is the major key area for the current market structure that you're dealing with it's pretty much obvious that right now you are at the lowest point possible of this structure if you see it as a rectangle you will be able to see that we're on the downside of the rectangle the top side is is right there so you are somewhere here in the downside of the rectangle trying to survive trying to react positively with bullishness otherwise you lose this one and you open up the doors for a prolonged uh, bearish sentiment which could be then the outcome of the january side of the price section for all the alts and BTC. It's very important to see how does the ETF moves around. If you ask me about the ETF, uh, I'm telling you it's impossible to say exactly or it's impossible to speculate uh, with rationality without considering both possibilities of rejection and approval are still sitting on the table for us that we don't have uh clear informations of the case we don't know the way they are judging we don't know the way they are proceeding in these cases at all simply said we can bring very serious arguments for both sides we can bring facts for both sides making the discussion impossible to be sort of way portrayed by having a domination of one choice or the other other than the personal subjective perspective which do not matters so that's where we are with the etf discussion guys i mean even if it's getting rejected it's gonna be approved at some point the problem is that a rejection is going to hit the markets at the same time an approval for short term is going to hit the markets as well positively but at the same time it do not uh takes the space to a level where people could imagine of 100k for the BTC out of nowhere just like that because of an ETF approval. It's not going to happen like that. It's going to have a great volume of buying pressure. It's going to react very well. And we would feel great with that, of course. But the idea is that you need to consider that right now a lot of the people are trapped into trading longs in the tops. So I am not sure if the market will give them the ability with an ETF approval to be saved out of liquidation due to the fact that the markets will will tank especially when it comes down to the alts they can easily do you know 30 40 percent from the top and that means liquidation for everyone if you don't exit that's it on this video guys once again feel free to reach out we have my trading journal you can participate completely outsource for you trading through api trading permission with our system as well the one-on-one -on -one coaching program make sure to watch this video for a detailed explanation and register now for a free call with me if you're serious about this business it's time to make a step forward and learn it